O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Is it not yet a very little while? Isaiah 29, verse 17. Our devotional today is from Reflections on Pentecost by Higher Things. In the name of Jesus, amen. One of the great themes of the Bible is something called the Great Reversal. The idea is that one day a great transformation will take place. The low will be lifted up while the mighty and proud will be brought down. Mary's song, the Magnificat, that we sing in church is a great example of this. So is this passage at the end of Isaiah 29. The prophet here speaks to what God has in mind to do for his people in a very little while. The deaf shall hear, the blind shall see, the meek shall attain fresh joy in the Lord, and the poor among mankind shall exult. In the Holy One of Israel. If all of this sounds familiar, it is because Jesus defined his own ministry in these terms, Matthew chapter 11. What's more, the enemies of God's people will come to nothing, and there will be no more scoffers among his faithful, no more jaded and sarcastic believers who roll their eyes and doubt God's promises, only sincere and devout followers of God. In addition, the usual failings of those who make false claims about their enemies and deny justice to the righteous will be cut off. Their power will be taken away. But what about the lifting up of God's people? How will they be changed? They will not be ashamed because God's working among them. The children of God will rightly praise him. They will sanctify the Holy One of Jacob, Jesus, and will stand in the awe of God of Israel. Even those who have wandered off from the fold will repent and listen to God again. All of this sounds amazing. We can't wait for this transformation to take place, but when will it finally happen? How long, O Lord? This great transformation began in the ministry of Jesus. His work of healing and restoring and encouraging showed what God has in mind to do. The removal of sickness and sorrow was a foreshadowing of what is to come. Even even now, the Holy Spirit continues his work of changing hearts and leading people to the right path in faith in God. In this fallen world, we catch glimpses of wrongs being righted and God's people rightly praising. But ultimately, the great reversal will not be fully realized until the old has passed away and Christ comes again and makes all things new. Jesus' work has already ensured that this will happen. His sacrificial death for our sins and his mighty resurrection from the dead assures us of the victory. The conclusion is certain. It's going to happen. Just a little while. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Come quickly, Lord Jesus. Many of us are waiting. Not one of us will be disappointed. Amen. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body, and soul, and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. The Lord bless us, defend us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. We meet for in-person services at the church on Wednesdays at 6.30 p.m. and Sundays at 9 a.m. at Faith Lutheran Church, 6000 West State Road 46 in Columbus, Indiana. The Lord bless your day.